All right, welcome back to GSK Wealth Builders YouTube channel. And today I'm gonna to be talking about investing in crypto exchanges. So I invest in crypto exchanges because I believe that a lot of people are trading, uh, day trading, trading back and forth, and the fees are pretty high. And I think that it's just a good way to have a different exposure to crypto by owning an exchange rather than owning Bitcoin and other things. So Bitcoin, in my opinion, is or Bitcoin and cryptocurrency is the number one way to get your exposure, but then you want to have other exposures. So for example, I can put uh, an exchange in my uh, tax-free account that I might not be able to put as much Bitcoin in, but you know, there are ETFs and other things, but it's just another way. So today I'm going to talk about the top exchanges and why I, why I like these exchanges or coins. So Coinbase has recently announced that they're going to be doing a IPO through direct listing on April 14th and the revenue in their last quarter was 1.8 billion dollars so that is uh that is enormous that's more revenue than the Nasdaq exchange right so Coinbase is is doing really well the volume is up and they have a lot of institutional investors and institutional clients that they provide leverage to because other places do not provide leverage. So that is one of the ways that Coinbase is doing really well. Another exchange that's not public is BlockFi. BlockFi is um, enormous. They're really good at what they do. Um, BlockFi is great and they pay interest. So what they do is they will lend to their institutional clients and they'll pay interest to the people holding Bitcoin, Ethereum in their wallets. And I think they're paying up to 8% interest. On just putting your coins in BlockFi. Now, what you should be doing is holding your coins in your wallet, but you know, there's there's other options. So uh, I'm just gonna go through a couple articles. So Coinbase, uh, the crypto exchange, right? Their Q1 earnings uh, up 125%. Coinbase had a 20x multiple. They think the shares are gonna go between 195 and $440 a share. So they'll have 200 million shares outstanding and a $90 billion market cap. I expect day one this to just moonshot. Um, there's going to be a lot of people. So they have a report and it's about the preliminary results. So their revenue was $1.8 billion, beating the estimates of $614 million. Um, the EBITDA, $1.1 billion, right? So they have a really good margin. The assets on the, assets on the platform, so 11%. Of crypto assets are held on Coinbase. 122 billion dollars from institutions. Um, the crypto assets increased by 18, so they have 118 assets, 56 million accounts that are verified from 43 million. Trading volume is 335 billion. It was 14 billion um, in Q4 20. This might be the stock. This actually could be the stock investors that are bored now that the stocks aren't, aren't booming and maybe they're possibly trading crypto. So, or it's just more institutional money. So the guidance they're looking at, uh, I think they were looking at 4 billion. So the ticker is going to be coin. It's on the 14th of April. So that's one option, right? Now, as soon as Coinbase does their IPO, Kraken is now thinking about doing an IPO too. So Kraken is one of the top 10 exchanges as well. So you might have an option to get Kraken at a better price. Now, my favorite exchange in the world is Uniswap because they're decentralized, but Uniswap runs on Ethereum and Ethereum charges too much fees. So lately, I've been using 0x Protocol's Matcha exchange where you can do limit orders and you can avoid fees by doing limit orders. So that's worked very well. Um... The only thing is it's not instant. So if you want like to own a coin right now and you do a limit order, it doesn't work that way. They do a lot of off-chain transactions. I'm actually not sure how it works, but um, you can do a limit order with no fees. So now my number two exchange that would be centralized is Binance. The reason why I like Binance is Binance is doing everything. They're doing charity. They're doing, you know, DeFi. They're doing staking. They're doing mining. They're doing everything. Uh, they dominate in volume, they dominate in services, they dominate like in everything, right? So I prefer Binance to Coinbase like 10 times over. I don't even use Coinbase really. Um, but if you're a newbie, I would definitely start with Coinbase, right? So now 
Binance token is a token linked to the exchange that actually provides profits in the forms of a buyback. Instead of a dividend, they're doing a buyback, right? So we're going to go here. So Binance in their white paper, what they say is they're going to take 20% of the quarterly earnings and buy back the Binance token and burn them. So one fifth of the earnings, right? Or one fifth of the net profits and buy back. So for example, on January 19th, they put out a highlight, right? So their 14th quarterly BNB burn, they burned a total of 3 million Binance coins, uh, 165 million US dollars worth of tokens. So if you were to multiply that, by five, what did we see Coinbase's, right? If we're gonna compare the two, revenue was 1.8 billion, EBITDA, 1.1 billion. Net income expected to be 730 million to 800 million, right? In Q1, 2021. So now if we take Binance's earnings, right? So 165 million, if we just multiply that by five, because in, that should be 20%. So Binance's net profits, if this math is right, is 828 million US dollars, right? That was in January, 2021. Now we know between January and March that earnings have increased significantly. So when we see, um, so January, April, May, so January, February, March, April. So in April, the end of April, maybe we'll see um, the next announcement by Binance. And I would be willing to bet that it's over 800 million, they said. I'm going to say Binance is earning 1. 1.2 billion net profit, right? I have no idea, but that's, that's my guess, right? Because everything is growing. So they are burning. So if you hold the Binance coin, right? And you have one coin out of say, there was those 3 million. So one coin out of 200 million coins. If they're taking 3 million and burning it, now you have one coin out of, right? 197 million coins, right? If it's 3 million, but there was 3.6 there. So in my opinion, what they're doing by burning back is they're paying me a dividend, right? By decreasing the shares. Uh, this is from Warren Buffett. So Warren Buffett in the Intelligent Investor or Benjamin Graham in the Intelligent Investor, he talks about the margin of safety and he talks about coins. And then Warren Buffett took that and remixed it. And he said, well, also other than dividends, stock buybacks are a form of a dividend because they're right. Instead of passing the money to you to go buy another stock, they're passing the money to you by decreasing that stock. So I, I like Binance for that, um, that reason. Now, Binance has moon like it's rocketed this year, right? It's up like 40x. So it might be overvalued, who knows? But if you look at their earnings, right? They they started out burning 900,000 BNB, then 1.8 million BNB, then 2 2 and then 1, then 800,000, right? This is like this, so 7 and 8, that's crypto winter. No one cared anymore. And then we hit up 2, now we're at 3.6 million BNB. So I think they're going to go over, you know, they're going to go over four or five million BNB burned, right? So they've been burning. Binance is three and a half years old. They're going to be committed to burning a hundred million BNB, which is half of the supply. So if we look at the totals, let's see, just without rounding up. So five, eight, nine, like, yeah, five. 11, 14, 16. So 25%, they're at 20, they're around 26, 5, 26% of their target of burning BNB. So they're going to burn another 75 million BNB. So that is a, a good thing. No, no changes to their existing. They're burning each time. Um, they're going to be burning faster. So that is why I'm buying BNB. The second reason why the second reason why I'm buying BNB is you can stake your BNB inside a Binance exchange and get new coins. So there is a coin coming out. 
uh, if you go on Binance Exchange and then you go to earn, you'll see that there's a coin that you're that's coming out. And for the next 26 days, you can stake your BNB or you can stake US dollars, Binance US dollars, and then they'll they're going to record how much you've staked over a month and then give you some new coins. So if those new coins do well, they're free coins. If not, well, you know, you didn't lose anything. Right. So uh, I like Binance for that reason. This, the third reason I like them, they are doing really well in DeFi because they don't have fees on their network um, the way Ethereum does. So, for example, when I'm buying a coin that I like and I buy it, I commit to buying it every day or every second day because I want to make sure I get the good prices. I'm spending 60 to to $100 a day in fees, which means to make it worth it, I need to be buying $2,000 to $3,000 right for the, in that coin so when i buy 200 and i spend 60 dollars in fees i'm, I'm getting killed right where with binance one dollar sometimes 20 cents right so that's why i like binance so I'm, i think i feel like i've talked about them enough um and so i'm going to talk about the other coin so coinbase ipo if it's cheap i'm, I'm buying it right because it's a stock and my stock money and my i'm just going to buy it uh, if not i might wait for kraken right or i might wait for a dip but if you look at volume, right? So volume of uh, Binance, $37 billion every 24 hours. Coinbase Pro, $2 billion every 24 hours, right? And then you look at the BNB token. Uh, BNB coin, I think it's like 17 billion. No, 75 billion. Yeah, 73 billion for the BNB coin. So BNB is cheaper, right? It's cheaper than Coinbase. Coinbase is not paying any dividends. Coinbase is not doing any buybacks at, that we know of yet, right? So if I'm going to pay 100 billion uh, this week for Coinbase, and Coinbase is doing what? 115th, 116th of the volume of Binance? But it's valued more than Binance? Doesn't make any sense to me, right? So. Anyways, um, that's just my hidden gem today, why I like Binance, how I think about investing. And if you have any questions, please leave them below. I, I would love to answer your questions. But uh, that's all I have for now. And thank you very much. I'm going to be doing more videos and more tutorials. Um, just please like and subscribe if, if you're getting any value from this and share it with friends. And oh, yeah, also click the... Um, when you subscribe, just click the alert button so you know when the new videos come out. And soon I'll be doing live videos as well, so then we can do Q&A. So that's all I got for now. Thank you.